I'm here to speak to you about empowerment, empowering others. There could be empowerment in service, and then there could be empowerment in self-fulfilling deeds, wanting to be empowered to fulfill one's needs, to make one feel better, stronger, more free. Has anybody had experiences of this? <laughs> I think everybody does this as a teenager, at least. <laughs> everybody goes through this, looking for one's place, one's power. It usually is the wrong places, but we usually grow out of it. You notice I'm using the word usually. <laughs> Sometimes I go back to those kinds of patterns of being. Wah. Right? <laughs> Then I realized, ah, empowerment and service. Put that aside for now. I've also been thinking about empowering others in a way of leadership. Do you empower a child to take care of the house? Yes, there's chores to do to teach them responsibility, accountability. And yet there's a limit to that. There's a healthy line of that. As a child, I experienced this. I took on way more responsibilities than I should have. And that was my choice to meet the situations at hand because I was looking for love through that accomplishment. If I do all these things, you're going to love me, right? But that wasn't love, but I didn't know any better. Our outer mind, our outer capacities, our outer world is always telling us how to be. Growing up, in addition to how I was choosing to be in my household, my world was telling me, get a career, get a house, do the white, get the white picket fence. <laughs> you know, and, and that's when you're fulfilled. And I did that at a very young age. And then what's hap what I was not happy, I was not fulfilled. When I realized that empowerment from a life of service could actually bring fulfillment, that's when my life changed. I had to look at patterns of my being and change them, take acknowledgement of them, bring forgiveness and understanding to those around me, to myself, for taking those things on as truth. And that took a lot of self-empowerment. But that self-empowerment came from opening up to what is larger. That source of being that I started our hour with, right? That we open up to that has the ultimate wisdom, the ultimate strength, possibility. Empowering someone or something is granting the power, right, or authority to perform acts or duties. Self-empowerment had to come from me knowing that I was given that right at birth. You were given that right at birth. To be an expression, a beautiful expression of the divine. To live and enjoy life to its fullest. Can we receive that empowerment today? Are we receiving it? Are you ready? Yes. But then there's all these questions, right? All these patterns are like, no, you don't deserve that. Don't shine too bright. Don't grow too tall. Don't take away my empowerment. Who do you think you are? I'm sure we, have, we all have these voices. But I want to invite you today and every day, all of these services, everything we're about is to open up to that ultimate empowerment and then to bring that to ourselves to allow it to flow through to heal those patterns of being that were passed down from generations heal those patterns in us and then give that to ours our world we have to do this work in order to truly Move on to the next. 
Yes, that child needs to learn responsibility and that it's not ready to run the house until they are ready. And then we do the best we can in each moment. The more we do this in ourselves, we can see it in each other's world and then invite each other forward. Yes, I know you're, you're living from this. Oh, I can see it. And I feel your pain. And I've been through that. And yet, let's try a new pattern of being together. And let's try. Let's epically fail. And let's epically be victorious. Want to be epic in our empowerment together? Yes. Thank you.